Welcome back to us finishing our biggest build with our biggest budget. That's right. It's part two of Million Dollar Ranch. Part two, not two million. No, Still no, Still just no, a million dollar ranch. Oh my gosh, I almost had a panic attack when you said that. If you didn't see part one, and if you haven't, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, go watch that and then report back here. In the first part, we did nine multi-part spaces. That took us... 12 hours. Now we're gonna attempt to do 11 or so rooms. That is more. <laughs> more, more. What do we got? We have just under half our budget and a plan. Oh, the plan. Of course, the plan. <laughs> Let's warm up with something low stakes. How about a guest room? Sure, but I don't want it to be boring. We need a fun bed. That would help. Oh, there are some great swatches in this. Where's the pizzazz? <laughs> Where'd you come up with the word pizzazz? Oh, it just came to me. <laughs> I did have a thought earlier, but mm -hmm. don't get your right. hopes up. This might not be anything. Got it. Hopes here. <laughs> no, you need your hopes oh. like here. <laughs> Got it, Captain. This wood art piece is so cool and it actually has a lot of nice swatches. I'm thinking it might be possible to make it a really unique headboard. Oh, care. Yeah? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do you think? Oh, there's no way. What? Could we make this actually more of like a four poster bed with some of these debug wood pieces? Well, we have to try. Here's the try. I'm gonna size this up with the right bracket key and then i'm going to place these at all the four corners of the bed then i'm going to take this piece oh, and uh size it down yeah uh -huh, size it down one then i'm going to use the nine key to bring it up faster <laughs> too, too, too far too <laughs> i'm going to place this on the long side Ooh, it's fitting yeah, but this side, it's going to stick out a little bit. I actually think I like that more. It gives it a cool detail, like they slotted it all together. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed. I can't believe how easy that was. That being said, that frame cost us absolutely nothing. Yeah, we should probably try to get a computer in here. Oh, no. I kind of wanted a dresser in here, too. <laughs> in front of the door? Oh, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a Narnia bathroom. <laughs> Could we get crafty again and do, like, a dresser-desk combo? I do not know if that is a real thing, but I am willing to make it a real thing because I like that. <laughs> Most expensive computer going in. I'll just add a horse statue here to keep us on theme. No, the computer was on theme. The theme is money. Oh, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Back here at the ceiling because I can't leave well enough alone. Why are we here? The headboard kind of got me thinking about like adding wood in different pieces and patterns. I thought maybe we could do something like that with the ceiling. Ceilings have the same mechanics as floors. So if you do control F, you're going to get this nice little quarter tile. Now I can turn all the wood tiles around to make this really cool like geometric piece. Ooh, that is hot. Do you think we could put a chandelier in the middle? Oh, yes, yes. Ooh. Yeah, that just fits perfectly into the bed frame. <laughs> I think we just squirrel that idea away for another build. I'm just gonna do a quick little ensuite, starting with the new pavers. Oh, they're so pretty. Also popping in the new bathtub and a little brick feature wall. Why are you making this decision so fast? Get this, because I think we can even add a little artwork in here. You are speed running this. That's right. Just a couple of plants, and there you go. Time. We're having no thoughts going into the space. I'm so happy with it. Me too. This bedroom is so not our normal with like dark and moody, but I really love it. It's the bathroom for me. Something about that stucco against that brick. Ooh, makes it. This little room could be a little nursery. Cute. And I already like the entrance. Good start. I want the theme in here to be soft, fuzzy things. So I'm going to do something that we never do. Carpet. Ooh, that is detailed. Don't be too scared. I want to mostly cover it up by using the new sheep rug. Cuteness <laughs> overload. I was going to use the stack, but it is just not quite fitting how I wanted to. It's okay because they gave us the individuals, so you can make your own custom one as well. What a cute little cuddly pile. Okay, I'm going to use this crib somewhere. A key feature. But what I do want to do is add columns and spandrels over here to make this like a built-in closet space. Instead of two dressers, let's make this one a clothing rack. Oh, perfect. This would be a perfect changing table spot if we had one. Oh, shoot. They aren't in base game, are they? Mm -mm. But I want it. Same. I'm going to DIY it. Uh, of course you are. I'm going to take this new ottoman we got and I'm just going to raise it up just enough to where it peeks over the top of this dresser. Add one of these cute little baskets with all like the baby supplies. And that is pretty convincing. I love how that looks, even though it's not functional. Ah, Who needs it? Yeah. Functions, function. Ah. We should add in the cute matching stool with some of the kids' books above it. Oh, like when the baby becomes a toddler, they could sit there and read their books. <laughs> cute. Cute. You know you're doing something right if everything in a nursery makes you say cute. Yeah, I've been messing around with this crib for 
for like ever and I like it in this corner but something just doesn't feel right. It's not your fault. It's the corner's fault. Yeah, it's the corner's fault. I know it's not my fault. It can't be me. I hate to do it again but I do think a beam across here might make it pop. Oh, absolutely. That makes the perfect spot to add like the mobile to and curtains and string lights. I should have known you would have yes anded your way to string lights. Yes and I love it. <laughs> this baby definitely has enough sheep to count to fall asleep. It's adorable. Is that a llama? Nope, it's not. Uh, moving on, just another sheep. <laughs> this is a good size bathroom. Yeah, usually we have to just squeeze in like a two by three. But this one, we've got some room to play. Is it bad to put the big barn doors at the front here? I mean, technically, they're supposed to just look open. So it should be fine, right? 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 I don't know how the Sims are going to feel about it, but I like it too much. So we're going to have to try. <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take. I love the idea of doing a really tonal checkerboard in here. So I'm just going to do control F to get quarter time. Create your checkerboard pattern and then just hold shift to fill in your other color. I knew it would work a checkerboard into this build somewhere. I just didn't know where. Everyone can check that off your bingo cards now. <laughs> yeah. String lights, checkerboard. Whale bird. No. Aw. <laughs> He's not on the card. When does he get a check? I'm just going to use this little niche here to make like a walk-in shower sort of situation. Aren't all showers walk-in? Wait, why are they called that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm also just going to scooch the shower back into the wall so that it looks like it's all stone. Good thing the most expensive toilet is the country one. Really works with our theme. Let's be honest, even if it didn't work, we would have made it work and we would have put it in. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> really glad we have the space to fit a clawfoot tub in here too. Yeah, it does scream ranch. And it screams expensive. It's like two grand. Oh, we should have two tubs. Just a casual activity to do with your significant other. They could hold hands. Uh, uh. We could get two sinks in here though and still have plenty of room for styling. Although we are running out of bathroom clutter we haven't used yet. What if, what if, what if we take this little ottoman thing and we raise it up using the nine key, switch the swatch and now it looks like a tray filled with clutter. That's so good. And it also has the added bonus of making these cabinets unusable. So hopefully the Sims won't come up here and cook on them. One can dream. That's one of the new flowers from the pack, right? Yeah, we actually got three new plants in this pack. Like plants. They're all dried flowers. We also got to use the new lantern sconces, which I'm obsessed with, uh -huh. and the new stool. Oh, I love the new stool. We love to clutter a stool. That's what I said. Main bathroom done. Love that we even found a space to put columns and spandrels in here. It's my only mission in this build. <laughs> Every room has one. How many times have we said columns and spandrels? Oh, I don't want to know. No one counts. Stop counting. All right, let's head on down to the ground floor, but not the last floor. Oh, no, 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 that's for the plan. I'm starting to worry we're maybe hyping up the plan too much. If anything, we're <laughs> under-hyping the plan. <laughs> You're right. The plan, the, the plan. plan. So we're thinking garage in here, right? Yeah, basically the room where we can cram a whole bunch of stuff in here and it'll still look great. Or at least believable. Okay, yeah, great is relative. Oh man, it's too bad the debug cars are free. Oh, it looks so good. <sighs> look at the mud on the wheels. <laughs> maybe we just add some items to the back of the truck bed that cost something. Yeah, it basically pays for itself. Uh, I don't think that's right. Oh, hey, the horse trailer's actual money. I don't think a horse could fit in there. <laughs> Maybe a mini one. We should have gotten mini horses. Well, they did give us mini goats and sheep. Okay, yeah. Maybe it is for them. I'm going to line these walls with cabinets. This would honestly be such a dream garage. All this space. Yeah, we could probably fit the woodworking table over here. Love an activity. Speaking of, we need to give this family a hobby. Yeah, what's an expensive collection or something? Wait, while the big cars don't cost anything, you know what does? The miniature one. We've got a model maker in this house. I think we'll get functional cars in The Sims. You know, before I would have said no, but now that we have horses, feels like anything's possible. Like making our own apartment. <gasps> that would be the actual dream. How would you feel about putting a laptop down here? Me and the still massive budget say yes. I'm just gonna add in the matching island cabinet so it looks built in. Then love it more. We add the debug paintbrush. Then it looks like this is like their latest project that they've been working on. Okay, I can. And I do love it more. Every corner is getting cluttered. You get a barrel. You get a barrel. You get a barrel. Every garage has random sports stuff. You can take the new horse ball and size it down. Okay. We can, but why? <laughs> because it's got a lot of swatches, like soccer balls and stuff. Oh, nice. We don't have any of that in base game. If this was our garage, it would just be filled with old karate belts. <laughs> don't want to brag, but we are yellow belts. How long does a title like that last if you got it when you were seven? Oh, I'm sure it still counts. <laughs> Once a yellow belt, always a yellow belt. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> what if we put in the old looking TV up here and then the new covered chair? That's so cute. Like they have this huge cinema room, but sometimes <laughs> you just need to watch something on a small screen. It just looks better that way. 
way. I know we were going for junk room, but I actually like it. Same. <laughs> I'm so glad that we got to use that weird tool wall thing. Yeah, we've been trying to put that in a build for ages. I don't know why we're acting as if anything that's not in base game is not going in here. <laughs> so now we have this random space. I think this is where you like get out of the car and then you're able to like run upstairs or run in from outside to go upstairs. So it's like an entry mud room, but with really tall walls. <laughs> really annoyingly tall walls. <laughs> anyway, we can change that. Not for in here, but I did raise the floor in this area over here so it matches with the deck outside. When did you do that? All we have to do is just add a platform and some stairs to bridge the gap, but not just any regular old platform. What other kind of platform is there? A rounded platform. You are very brave. Yeah, rounded walls are still quite glitchy, so I'm thinking we just build our platform outside here. Bring it inside, raise it up. Ooh, look at that lag. <laughs> She's trying her best. It's like we have a million dollars on here or something. Not yet. It's gonna get worse. And then add this stunning new metal fencing. That looks so pretty on the curve. Is that a no 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 no? <laughs> It sure is. Do you think we could fit like a cute little bench in here and then maybe a cute little shelf? Well, when you put it like that, we have to try. Nooks are my new book. I want to put them <laughs> everywhere. Books, plants, nooks. A perfect build. So that leaves this space for the mudroom, which is perfect because they gave us an item literally called mudroom cubby. Love that these are just one tile big. Like it's so customizable. I don't really feel like we need more than this. We quite literally have the rest of that room. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking about doing something silly. Ooh, let's be silly. <laughs> this has been a serious build so far. <laughs> only we only do serious builds on this channel. Would it be weird to fake a laundry? This would be a cool space for one, but we don't have laundry day. What if we use the power of imagination? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna add a couple of cabinets next to this sink. Hand wash only in here. <laughs> well, this is the part where you have to stick with me because I'm going to put in these things that might look like dishwashers but we're gonna just pretend that they're front-loading washers and dryers. You know, if I squint, I can actually see something. Me too! <laughs> Honestly, the whole build looks better that way. <laughs> If you guys could just squint this whole video, <laughs> we'd really appreciate it. What if we take these clothing racks and raise them up using the nine key out of cabinets? And then we have hanging space for like clothes you need to air dry. The illusion is growing. <laughs> Add more things, quick! <laughs> quick, quick, quick. <laughs> we could do soap or, or laundry or something. Something is still missing. It needs a runner. Oh, but we don't like most of the runners. I am going to try to make one. She said so confidently. I'm going to take this rug. I'm going to size it down. Then I'm going to do that again and place it right next to that other one and do this like a million times. That looks way better than expected. Yeah, especially when you went and deleted everything and added the fringe under it. You didn't have to tell them that. I know it's simple. But why is it so pretty? There's something about it. Mm. And the laundry room weirdly works. Weirdly works. <laughs> if you have laundry day, you can easily just switch those out. But I'm super happy with it. It's time for an office. <laughs> business, business, business. <laughs> that means money, money, money. Yep, I'm putting it all in here. A pool? Is that what you think office pools are? <laughs> you think they're literal pools? It should be. We got to do some computers, some quills, these weird ball executive thingies that desks always have. Gotta have. It. It's integral to the structure of the desk. What about some expensive shelves? Put them on both sides. <laughs> Gives us a nice little place to put art. I think we could even justify a TV. Where else would they put their PowerPoints? <laughs> we know about business. I'm playing around with making this side a library, but it's all feeling rather one note. Maybe it just needs a level so it's not so flat. It needs something. Now we can add in some cute railings. Here, you made an accidental nook. How big do you think a nook is? A nook could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mindset, baby. What if we do like a cozy built-in reading nook? Ooh, those are all our buzzwords all in one sentence. You have to do it. You gotta. This is gonna be kind of intense, so settle in. Okay, I'm gonna add a bunch of these small cabinets to this new wall. Now I'm adding another wall. Ooh, <laughs> so many walls. <laughs> so now I can add cabinets backwards on this side. That's a nice box. The pool would have been better. I can't believe we had pool space and you decided to build a library. I'm gonna double down on the boxes because <laughs> I'm gonna add all these cabinets in a horseshoe shape around. Add back in walls. Now I'm gonna take some of the new arches and raise them up and then place them all around the sides. You've made nooks inside of nooks. It's nookception. <laughs> now I gotta fill them. It's book time. Love book time. Book time's one of my favorite times. Book time is one of the best times.
times in the game. I'm taking these really expensive bookshelves and popping them inside of these arch spaces. Oh, and then I was gonna add a couch, but it's not quite fitting. Just stretch it. No problem, no problem at all. <laughs> oh, you could try doing two love seats though. And if that doesn't just fit perfectly. <laughs> added this spandrel in the middle so I have a place to put this little hanging light. Say spandrel again. Spandrel, spandrel, spandrel. <laughs> add that to the couch. You want me to add in some random clutter so it doesn't look so matchy-matchy? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you know? There were no clues, actually. I keep looking for a plant we haven't used, and I'm realizing that's now impossible. We have very quickly crossed over into the we've used every base game plant twice now. And I changed the pot color, so it's really different. You couldn't tell. <laughs> it's a whole new plant, baby. <laughs> baby. I don't like the gaps at the top, so I'm just going to go ahead and size up some shelves to cover that up. So you're saying you do mind the gap? I very much mind the gap, actually. Well, hasn't this room just shot its way up the power rankings both in cuteness and financially i am not even kidding we should totally make this in our house i am so down for that we keep ending up with these weird transitional spaces as the rooms are dwindling we need to start making some money moves agreed this is a room for the finer things oh yeah Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. That's better. We begin with a collection of fine art. Every home has a gallery, right? That's what makes it distinguished. Quite, quite. We can even take the new landscape decals that we haven't gotten to use and throw a frame around them to elevate them. Dare I say elegant. You shall dare. <laughs> I don't know if shall quite worked with that, but I <laughs> but I thought it sounded fancy. Yeah. So I threw it in. <laughs> and boom, grand piano. That's not just a grand. It's like three grand. This room is paying off so well. And through this sliding door we're gonna add a sunroom Ooh, i love the idea of adding an outdoor fireplace out here what a cozy place to just bask in the sun or the firelight and read a good book i'm sold add a sunroom to the list of our wishes i'm adding it you actually have a list yeah a list of wishes <laughs> i did get some greenery in here let's add a bonsai tree to this back corner now why is that perfect because it is I love these two rooms so much yeah not only did that spend some much needed money but we gave them an activity in each one so there's actually a purpose oh my gosh did you plan that i didn't plan that <laughs> Speaking of activities, that's what these last rooms are all going to be about. Let's start with the art studio. After all, someone had to paint all those things out in the gallery. Yep. And as we said before, art is money. Some of the most expensive stuff in this game is art stuff, like this easel. Ooh, love the paint covered one. Then we need like a drafting table. Oh, that one looks great. I know. I like this, right? <laughs> yeah, we've never used that before. And we have to give him a drawing tablet. I mean, when you gotta have it, you gotta have it. And who could forget the ridiculously expensive set of blank canvases? <laughs> 3,000 smackaroos for blank paper? You're paying for the potential. Oh, it's priceless. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> hey, we haven't gotten to use the new mountain rugs yet, and this will be nice because it can add some color in the space. All I'm thinking about now is West Virginia Mount Mamba. <laughs> We've had country roads playing in our heads <laughs> nonstop for like days now. Obviously. Can't imagine why. Take me home. Country road. <laughs> and next door is the gym. You've got to stay horse riding ready? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think we'd get to use the black swatch of this new flooring down here, but this looks great. Oh, it kind of looks like the rubber mats that gyms have. Now time to add in floor to ceiling mirror wall. This item is so cool because you can overlap mirrors and it gives you like a completely seamless finish, which is really nice. And we're going to spend like a ton of cash. Oh, I love watching those little red numbers just go up. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. And the whole room could be a mirror room. <laughs> <gasps> and now time for the most expensive equipment. City thing, punchy thing, runny thing. Nice to hear someone use the technical term for once. I want to add a plant. The authority will just fit. <laughs> and in the mirror, now it looks like we got two plants. If only it cost two plants. <laughs> Honestly, this whole room should cost double. That should be what it is. <laughs> this last room is going to be the bath for this floor. That's great because it's right next to the gym. Oh uh, yeah, because of that, we should try to squeeze a shower into this back wall. You know, since it's exactly two tiles, we could try to inset it by adding a wall here and a half wall here. That is so much cuter than just a regular shower do you think we can add a spandrel over the opening heck yeah we can that looks great i was trying to push the tile back into the wall but it means that this side is still exposed let's just look at it for a second maybe it's cool 
<laughs> Honestly, staring at it made it so much worse. How about we make a big faux storage thing back here with our clutch debug posts and some shelves. Wait, that looks so nice. Oh, you sure you don't want to go back to just the tile? No, no, please don't. <laughs> I'm going to add some shelves over here too so we can have like a little space to tuck a trash can. We never get to add trash cans into our bathrooms. Kind of feels nice. <laughs> Every little scent counts. These rooms turned out great. You can literally do any activity that the Sims have to offer in this area. Your Sims are going to be spoiled for choice. Even though with this pack, you're just going to be riding horses anyway. Well, there's one more thing you might want to do. It's time for phase one of the plan. I didn't realize there were phases. How many phases are there? Oh, there's really only like two. Both more and less than I thought. There is a basement. That isn't a secret. They already knew that. <laughs> it's getting so late. I don't know what they know or not know at this point. What do you remember? <laughs> what have you seen? We're getting a little loopy out here, so forgive us for any extra chaos. You may have already guessed this, but this is going to be a wine cellar. It's also going to be the center of operation for making the wine, too. This may look like I just added a bunch of little rooms, but actually these are going to be giant brick columns because we are about to add an absolutely absurd amount of bottle storage. These wine racks are so cool because they clip and they stack. Just hold down shift to duplicate as you place and you can fill up a room like so fast. So fast. So fast. So Look at me go. Look how fast she is. Oh, okay, wait. Oh um, my God, it's getting so, worse. Okay. So that part's hard, but then after you get through that part, then it's super fast. I feel like the vibe in here is bougie meets vampire. And you are correct. I am. So I'm going to add these fancy lights at the end of every row. This middle part is for a long table. How about mega, mega table? Longer. Oh, I don't... I think we can... You know what? That was confusing. I'm just going to put two together. Oh, mega, 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 mega table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> of course. The Meg. That's what we call her. <laughs> Candles just feel rich. They are a resource that never replenishes and you just have to buy more of forever. So that makes sense. And they smell good. I'm adding a big gate back here because this is going to lead to like barrel storage in production. Looks like another space to add candles to me. You're a vibe and a half down here. Candle corners everywhere. So what's this space up front? That space was not part of the plan. I do not know what to do with that space. We could do a little powder room in here just so we have a bathroom on this level. We should only put the fanciest stuff in this one the most expensive bathroom in the tiniest space yeah now what you probably have another bar down here and maybe a mini kitchen for cleaning up all those wine glasses i can get down with this i made this cool wine storage thing by adding these cabinets and corbels and then this sized up shelf on top Ooh, we could take a dishwasher and size it down we have a mini dishwasher <laughs> we're actually gonna stick it in the cabinets here and then we have this like open countertop look. Now we just place more wine racks and the countertops will all match. Just what we needed. More wine racks. <laughs> and over here is a cute space for the trash can. Cute and trash. <laughs> We're really doing it all today. <laughs> Everyone close your eyes. I'm adding in the glowing bar. <sighs> It's just so bright. I'm covering it with mirrors. Okay, everyone can look now. It's so pretty and it doesn't hurt my eyes. Yet again, all of these glasses are probably going to start smelling. If there's one thing this house doesn't lack, it's a dishwasher. Is this finally the place for the VIP bucket? It does look better down here. Probably because it's darker. What if we add in this book with the crazy secret nectar that costs like a thousand simoleons? So it looks like they're trying to take notes on how it's made so they can copy it. That is so, so, so good. <laughs> I love little stories in houses. Mm -hmm. We are moving to barrel storage. I'm using the stack that they gave us and I'm making these little column and spandrel sections where they can sit. That's gonna be a lot of barrels. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> How do we feel about filling this box with grapes instead? Keep that attention to detail coming. This side is gonna be the production side with the nectar maker. Good fit too. With two nectar makers. <laughs> and some little aprons because they're working so hard. Those should have way more stains on them be purple by now. We should add in some of these crates with wine too. This could be like the packaging side. What's that saw for? Making the crates. You think they make their own It's for ambiance. Just roll with it. We do not have a lot of wine tools. Everyone get your wine saws. <laughs> Just take the cork right out. I think that's like the basics done. Now you're all probably thinking to yourselves, girls, 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 you still have 50 grand left. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a million simoleons. <laughs> to that we say, look around because the answer is hiding in plain sight it's plan time yeah it is <laughs> let me throw some quick math your way please don't this bottle of wine costs 90 bucks each of these racks holds 13 bottles there are 30 racks in each stall there are six stalls i'm gonna be really honest that was the easy math and i did not do the hard part so just give me like one second i'm gonna pull up my calculator <laughs> and that's over 200 000 simoleons and that's the cheap bottle imagine if we used the a thousand dollar bottle that's like a bajillion dollars Somebody in the comments will probably do the actual math on that. <laughs> no, it's a bajillion. Bottles even mature 
bigger, faster in basement. So it's going to be worth even more soon. The plan is foolproof. And y'all doubted us. Who looks silly now? You do. I'm laughing because everything has gone horribly wrong. We never should have done this. This is a disaster. I'll explain, but you have to hold your judgment because we have never tested how the wine racks actually work. So I brought a sim in just to see if there's a quick way to add wine to all of the racks, and that was really easy. But that is when Karen noticed something odd. I went to go check our total money to see how much 13 bottles gave us and it was the same. Yes, the worst is true. When you add bottles to a rack, they somehow no longer affect your money total. What are we gonna do? It is so late and this is the only reason we thought we could pull this video off. The plan! We had a plan! The plan was a nightmare. Now I'm hungry. We're gonna grab a snack and we're gonna regroup. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> Through the power of no longer longer being hangry, I have come up with something kind of genius. She really has. This fridge has a glass front, which is actually really cool in The Sims because you can add in items behind there and they still show up. I do not know how this works. It doesn't make a ton of sense to have all this random fridge stuff down here. So we're going to make this a wine fridge. Woo! We're going to stack all the wine in rows so you won't be able to see all the other random stuff. You can also see all the different types of nectar this way. And if you move into this house, you can just move the fridge, move these into your inventory, and then you can put them in the wine racks yourself. You saved the build! Freedom and weep. That's a million simoleons and a little bit over, baby. <laughs> this wine cellar is exactly what we needed. And bonus, it's amazing and looks spooky too. The best combo. You should definitely stick around for this tour because there's so many like tiny details and hidden moments that we didn't get to show you that you might be able to catch. I cannot believe this whole build is just one pack and base game. I know it doesn't feel like we repeated stuff at all and we definitely repeated stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it does speak pretty well to like the build buy of this pack. It is a very specific theme though so totally get it if it's not your cup of tea. That being said we've enjoyed it. We're definitely going to use it in our builds and we even went into Cass. <gasps> Everyone in chat probably just gasped right now. It was just to make horses, nothing too crazy. They are really fun. Yeah. Just a disclaimer, you can download this off of the gallery, but it's probably going to be the laggiest thing ever. You can use the free real estate on cheat to get it if you dare. <gasps> if you dare. Oh gosh, did anybody make it to the end here? Is it just us talking to no one? <laughs> if you did make it this far, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And also we are this close to beating TikTok. We could actually do it. Look at your button, see if you're subscribed. Click it if you are not. Do it. Do it now. Everyone peer pressure them. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Leave a comment below. Tell us which one of these many, 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 many rooms was your favorite. <laughs> Sorry, this took way too long. Thank you all for being so patient. No promise we'll ever do this challenge again, but I hope that everybody that has been leaving this comment is happy with it. Hopefully it lived up to the hype. Next week should just be how fast can we build a house in The Sims? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a title. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you, partners.